products. And as I said, I personally own this. We have an earring and a cuff that go back with it. And I will tell you, when I, when I bought the, the amber necklace here, the earrings had sold out and I was not able to get them. How old is this? It's like, you know when you go to a carnival and they're like, guess my age. Would you guess 30 to 50 million years old? <laughs> That's what's so amazing to me, Jay, about amber. It's just, and yes, I do think that there might be a mosquito in there and I can create a dinosaur, but I know that that may not be true. But I do love, I do love, the, you know, you think about what was the earth like 50 million years ago? Well, this, you've got the necklace, <laughs> right, Jay? Well, you know, um, the, the cool thing about amber is, well, number one, it, it's, it's fairly rare. I mean, you don't find, um, you don't find amber, is, you know, amber is more rare than turquoise. And turquoise is fairly rare, right? You don't find uh, amber worldwide. Um, this is a uh, Ukrainian material, comes out of Ukraine. Um, thank goodness we have that connection because right now if I didn't, uh, my Baltic uh, amber connection, I, do, I still do have a Colombian amber con connection, uh, but it's, it's tough to get any kind of volume out of that. It's a green amber. This, is, uh, this material comes out of Ukraine. This is what they uh, refer to as, it's more of a cherry amber, a darker color. This material um, is literally uh, dates back, it's 30 to 50 million years old. Um, this, uh, this material is what we call, it's an organic gem material, right? Or that's what they refer to. It's just like um, uh, coral, like oysters. Uh, you know, it's, it's an organic uh, material. So what it is, you're looking at something that's fossilized tree resin, but you're looking at something that was formed no less than 30 million up to 50 million years ago is when this was actually formed. And um, as far as insects, I mean, the, I have pieces that have prehistoric scorpions in them. I've got all kinds of really cool collectible specimens that I've collected over my lifetime. Um, they're, they only go up in value, they don't go down. <laughs> what, what I like with this though, um, and Helen, you know, uh, we were, I was talking about it, she goes, I own this necklace. And I said, well, you know, did you, do you love it or do you really? And she said, I love it. And she said, one of the things I love, it's big, it's bold, but it's not like wearing an anchor around your neck. It's lightweight. And that is a property of amber, of natural amber. That's actually how it's harvested is because it's lighter than water. Uh, in this case, uh, it comes from the bottom, bottom of a boggy area, a swampy area. Now, when I say swamp, Everybody gets a picture of the Florida Everglades, okay? <laughs> there are other kinds of swamps, guys. And this is more like a bog. I mean, this is something like out of a, like probably out of a Frankenstein movie type thing, you know, like where it's a bog, you know, and the steam's rolling off, or, you know, in the morning. Uh, kind of more like that. You don't think about alligators and stuff. It's not that kind of swamp. It's just a really boggy area that they find this in, and they go through and they, they blow it off the bottom of this. That, that's right. That's actually um, uh, at the where they actually bring it in. They're washing it that, in the washing plant right there. They've just brought that in from the field. That's in Ukraine right there. They just brought that material in from the field. Those that is the area where, where this comes from. And what they do is they go into these uh, boggy areas, swampy areas. Now you can see here in this case, th this was all a big bog. And what they did is they went in and they drained this. You can actually see the pumps on the other side. And this is during the dry season when they can pump this out. Now that won't stay pumped out. There, you know, they would have to run those pumps 24 seven. You can see right there where it, um, uh, that was taken more in the, in the winter and there's still snow on the ground, a little ice and everything. And they're, they're in there trying to pump it out. Well, what they do is they blow that amber, they go through and they blow it, they have this real high pressure, either hydraulic, like a water stream or air, and they go through there and they blow that and the amber will float to the top. And when it does, they have a guy literally with a fishnet. I'm talking that, a fishnet. It's, you know, with a thin, um, with a little thin fishnet. And he'll just go and follow the blower and he'll just pick up, scoop up the amber and then he goes and piles it on a dry spot or a high spot. 
And then at the end of the day, they gather that up, they all sack it, and then you saw it went into the washing plant over there where they wash it, and from there, um, it goes to people like me. Yeah, <laughs> and me, because <laughs> I bought it. $45.65 <laughs> is the flex pay. It is new and exclusive. So we also have earrings and a bracelet that go back, and you can see Victoria is wearing the earrings. I want to show you, they articulate. And then also, see, look at that beautiful, and then look at that amber cuff is just incredible. So these are the cuff at 214, the earrings are 99.75. Just wanted to let you see these pieces if you wanted to have it go back with it. By the way, Jay, I'm monitoring everyone who is making comments in Facebook in real time, and someone wants to know what you're getting your wife for Valentine's Day. So I thought okay. I'd put you on the spot. <laughs> no, 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 you have it, okay. Here's the thing, okay? So, and I, I'm talking to the guys out there, all right? <laughs> okay. Uh, see, what I do is I buy stuff year-round, and then I stash it. I have, a, I have a vault within my vault that she has no access to, right? And I, I have already, I will tell you right now, I have Valentine's Day. I have her birthday next month. I have our wedding anniversary. <laughs> and I have Christmas for next year. Plus, I have Valentine's Day for next year, the following year, and her birthday. You That's do not. That's how far out I am. I, I'm that far out. Really? I'm telling you. I, that I is am. impressive. No, no, no. And, uh, you know, I'm set because I've learned part of a happy marriage is <laughs> making sure your wife is happy. So, um, and I used to be terrible about this. I mean, you know, like... I just was terrible. And Our producer I will tell you Kevin guys, says you're making all the guys look bad. <laughs> no, I'm not looking back. I'm telling you right now. Okay, if you, I'm, I'm, take some advice from an older gentleman who's got a very happy married life, okay? <laughs> Write it and down. And <laughs> I'll tell you right now, you got to be prepared or girlfriends. Also, it's great when you maybe got a little trouble or something like that. Maybe you went and, you know, you went, you know, sporting clay shooting for the 15th time this week. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, things like that or golfing or whatever you do, right? Yeah. And, um, you know, like, and she's feeling a little left out. It's always good to have that little extra something stashed away. But don't tell her. You got to, you know, like most guys, what they do is what I used to do. I used to get something or make something for Sheila, and I would be so happy I would go to it. And, and you know, like, so it just, you know, now I put it back. You know, hold it. You know, keep it for those occasions. I'm telling you. That's that's the way to rock. All right, that that actually was not the answer that I thought you would give, and that's surprisingly uh, <laughs> impressive. Because I know that sometimes you could be a little like can be forgetful, and you know, like it's like you're on it, Jay. You are on it. <laughs> but it, for everybody else, like for Christmas, I buy it the day before. <laughs> oh, okay. See that that.